I was alone, and that's when I saw it. A dazzling light in the sky. The next day he came to the house. Christopher, the most handsome man I'd ever seen. Our love blazed like a wildfire. I held nothing back. And in return, he showed me the incredible truth about himself. He'd made himself human to learn about us. This was his true shape. I loved him so much it didn't matter, but he was stolen from me. 1885, the year of the great monsoon. The river Jumna rose up and broke its banks. He was taken at the flood. But Christopher left me a parting gift, a jewel like no other. I wore it always, part of me never forgot. I kept it close. Always. Just like a man. Flashes his family jewels and you end up with a bun in the oven. A poor little child. Forty years ago, Miss Chandrakala took that newborn babe to an orphanage. But Professor Peach worked it out. He found the birth certificate. Oh, that's Maiden. Maiden name. Precisely. So she killed him. I did not. Miss Chandrakala feared that the professor had unearthed your secret. She was coming to warn you. So she killed her. I did not. Lady Edison is innocent. Because at this point, Doctor. Thank you. At this point, when we consider the lies and the secrets key to these events, then we have to consider it was you, Donna Noble. What? Who did I kill? No, but you said it all along. The vital clue that this whole thing is being acted out like a murder mystery. Which means it was you, Agatha Christie. <laughs> Take your pardon, sir. So she killed them? No, but she wrote. She wrote those brilliant, clever books. And who's her greatest admirer? The moving finger points at you, Lady Edison. Don't leave me alone. So she did kill them? No, but just think. Last Thursday night, what were you doing? Uh, I was, uh, I was in the library. I was reading my favourite Agatha Christie, thinking about her plots and how clever she must be. How is that relevant? Just think. What else happened on Thursday night? I'm sorry. You said on the lawn this afternoon. Last Thursday night, those boys broke into your church. That's correct. They did. <laughs> I discovered the two of them. Thieves in the night. I was most perturbed. What blazes are you doing, boys? <laughs> but I apprehended them. Really? A man of God against two strong lads? A man in his forties? Or, should I say, 